According to the management of the collapsed gold dealership firm, the 200 customers are the first batch to have been paid on December 27, 2019. The company, which has been struggling to make payment after it was shut down in 2018, promised to begin payment to customers from last Friday in spite of stiff opposition by some of the disgruntled clients. Speaking to City News on the payment of the 200 customers, spokesperson for the Coalition of Aggrieved Customers of Men's Gold, Frederick Forson, said he has reason to doubt the validity of the recent payment claims as none of his members, who are about 10,000, have received any form of payment. We did not hear anything on 27th. We heard that they said they were doing the payment. And the coalition of aggrieved customers alone, we are not less than 10,000. And not a single of the customers has been able to tell us that I have been paid or I have been caught. And by close of day, that day, that's the 27th, we were told that Men's Gold is saying they've, they have paid 200 people. I said, wow. When you read the, uh, the, the communicator that they issued on the 18th, the paragraph 3 and 4, it stated clearly that lawyer Kwame Akufu is going to facilitate the payment, more or less the receiver or whatever. And I'm told within three hours or less than 30 minutes after the men's goal came out, he came out and said, and this is public knowledge, that he has no capacity to do that. That alone even renders some credibility issues with even the payment plan. Men's Gold never came out to say anything to anybody. They went ahead and now we hear the PRO still saying that there's a third party. Who is that third party? Because according to your own communique, you said that lawyer Kwame Akufu will interact with the customer. And after the interaction, he will direct the customer to where they should go and receive payment. So I'm wondering... Eight hours in a day, let's say it, he's able to interact with five, uh, 200 customers and direct them to a place for them to be paid. And now they are claiming they've paid 200 customers. I mean, this is unthinkable. Mr. Forsen further charged management of men's gold to amend their payment plan to ensure that regardless of the amount they have on hand, every customer gets something paid to them. They should amend the payment plan to include everybody. So that every customer will receive a portion of his supposed cash at hand. We do not know the amount. We do not know the amount at hand. If they fail to amend it like we are asking for, we have several other strategies that we want to. But we believe that he has the capacity to pay. He has the capacity to pay. And we want to tell him, we know he has the capacity to pay. You should not forget he's a human being. There's somebody up there who sees him more than he knows himself. He has the capacity to pay. He thinks he's smart. His PR also thinks he's also smart. They are behaving like Ghanaian politicians. When you catch them, they still want to go ahead with their lives. But time will surely catch up with them. They have the capacity to pay. They have the capacity to pay even 50% of the customer at now, as at now. But he's riding on the horse. He's, 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 he's just hiding behind the loss of Ghana. And the system, the corrupt system that have been put in place in Ghana to deny the customers of their rightful investment. They should know that whatever amount that he has in hand, at hand, that amount does not belong to him. It belongs to the customers. Meanwhile, attempts to reach men's gold for a reaction to the concerns raised by the coalition of aggrieved customers of men's gold proved futile.